From Siouxland Oral Surgery, Dr. Lou, Dr. Dennis, are you gentlemen here? Absolutely, Bill. Thank you for having us. Present and accounted for. When we have you guys in, we always like to talk about uh, some of the things that are breaking. Since the last time you were here, you guys became stars in print. You know, the domestic abuse story was one of those that we have talked about in the show before and how you take care of them. How important is that to you? I have to tell you, Bill, it was, uh, again, and I know I've said this before, but it was quite an honor being asked by the Compass Center to speak on their behalf. And uh, Dr. Miller was with me, and we had some people from our office, and they really got to just hear these other people's testimonies and strong testimonies from people in the community, like our own police chief, just about how real this problem is. Uh, This has always been a a very sore subject with me and uh, Dr. Miller, uh, because we've seen it firsthand, not only where we trained, but very prevalently out here in South Dakota. So to get together with a group of like-minded people and be able to basically draw lines in the sand and come together and say no more uh, was really a big deal. So we were very honored, and we never expected to make the front page of the paper with it. So uh, definitely a big thanks uh, to the Argus leader for uh, putting us there and and taking such an interest in the story because it is is such a a, a powerful story that needs to be... um, communicated widely, I think, with with all of the the readers and listeners. Readers and listeners always want to know the rest of the story. What has happened since that time? Uh, Have you had some additional calls? Have you had some additional things that you've taken care of? Obviously, this wasn't an isolated case in Sioux Falls. No, no, unfortunately, it's not, and it's not usually anywhere. Uh, Yes, actually, I can't go into too many details, but since that time, there actually have been two people, one referred to us by uh, uh, the Compass Center, and uh, another who just happened to mention reading our newspaper, or reading the article about us in the newspaper, and uh, brought up uh, uh, some topics in her life, again, having to do with the temporomandibular joint issue that I discussed in detail. Smile. You guys also involved with uh, that kind of a a come-together talk about somebody that needed to be able to smile, and you did have some pictures of somebody that actually did get to smile. Uh, Yes, we did. Our second uh, uh, finalist for the uh, Second Chance Smiles program that we were running was uh, Tanner, and uh, with the help of the restoring dentists, uh, Dr. Mallory Sismanic and Justin Nichols from uh, Prairie Dental, uh, we were able to remove all the remaining teeth, uh, straighten out the bone of the upper jaw and the lower jaw, and then fit him with some uh, fixed prosthetics uh, so that he walked out of the office with a with a full set of teeth. Now, he's in the healing phase right now, so it's going to take four weeks, six weeks for the gum to heal and about six months for the bone to heal and for everything to stabilize. So everything looks really, really promising right now. We're certainly very happy with the way everything turned out. Tanner, of course, is ecstatic and very happy with the way things are turning out. And we'll be able to give you an update on uh, Tanner and on Misty probably in about four months, six months from now, because then their treatment progress will be completely finalized. So really happy to be a part of that as well. These guys do a lot of good stuff. Uh, Siouxland Oral Surgery, Dr. Lou, Dr. Dennis. And when we uh, talk about that, you guys do have a website. You do use social media. You do a lot of things that people could actually follow along. Would you like to kind of share how best they could do that? Well, our website at uh, www.sulandoralsurgery.com, it's a great resource uh, for patients who want to find out more information about us. Uh, You can also uh, call our our main telephone number at 605-335-1080 to speak with one of our schedulers if you um, are interested in getting set up for an appointment. And last but not least, uh, Siouxland Oral Surgery on our Facebook page uh, is always uh, uh, updated, and uh, we we spend a lot of time putting uh, the newest and most interesting things that are going on uh, with us and uh, with the oral surgery community on there. And um, we like to think that's a really positive page as well because we also put ourselves and our staff on there so you can kind of get to know us and and get to know us by face and some things that we're involved with long before you step foot in the office. It's more than these two guys. You guys work with a network of people that uh, 
do work with uh, a lot of people that have questions about what they should do with their teeth, their mouth, their jaws, all that go with it. But you guys also see people in other towns outside of Sioux Falls. That is absolutely true, um, Bill. We work um, very closely with uh, the communities of Mitchell, Brookings, and Yankton. And in each of those uh, areas, we do have satellite offices where we go um, every week to check in on our patients and uh, to meet new folks out there. So our referral network is not just in Sioux Falls. They're an amazing group here in Sioux Falls, but we're fortunate to... uh, uh, have ties with folks all around the state and a lot from other states, such as Iowa, Nebraska, and Minnesota. Now, the other thing that I would mention real quick is right now is the time of year where people are putting things off. Tax returns, all the things that might be with it, everything else is like pulling teeth to get tax returns out of some people. But a lot of times they will put things off, but when they put things off, they're risking something. Would you agree? Yes, uh, especially if you know that you have teeth that have cavities have been hurting you in the past, broken, fractured. Um, Or if you're a younger person, you have wisdom teeth and you feel like your wisdom teeth are coming in and out. Uh, These are signs and symptoms of infection. And typically during the times of years when we have a a change in season, that's when we start seeing a much bigger increase in the number of facial infections. And some of them are very, very serious, and we have to end up admitting people uh, to the hospital and taking care of them there. So our advice at this point is if you're if you're putting things off for a variety of reasons, tax season, uh, just time from work and things like that, consider trying to make an appointment relatively soon so that you can get that stuff taken care of while it's not a problem versus waiting until it's a really big problem. And as you were mentioning earlier, we have offices in Yankton, Mitchell, and Brookings, and we are the only surgical services from a dental standpoint that are out there. We're the only specialists that provide specialty care, wisdom teeth, dental implants, bone grafting, uh, treatment of infections on the specialty level and the specialty standard. And we're glad to be part of those communities and have that kind of outreach so we can take care of people not only in our community in Sioux Falls, but in our regional community, which encompasses all those areas. Now, you're one of these that always tells me you're going to do a helpful hint. And I know that you always have a story with a helpful hint. And I can tell by the look in your eyes, you got one today. Yeah. Don't be 52, have asthma as a kid, and catch bronchitis. Because you're going to be on halls for about a month. That's my helpful hint. (laughs) I think that makes sense. Oh, my goodness. That's Uh, terrible. (laughs) Yeah. Again, how they reach you guys on your website, social media, all the things that are important. Main telephone number is 605-335-1080 or www.sulandoralsurgery.com. Or if you're just on Facebook, please type in under the search engine, uh, Siouxland Oral Surgery, and uh, you'll see a, a lot of great information that's right there at your fingertips. And um, doctor, I can speak for Dr. Miller and I and all of our staff at Siouxland Oral Surgery. We're always interested in uh, meeting new people uh, and new prospective patients and uh, chatting with new referring dentists. So please give us a call. We're very approachable. Dr. Lou George, Dr. Dennis Miller, Siouxland Oral Surgery. Thanks for visiting with us. Thanks, Bill.